You okay? Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. How are you guys doing? Are you okay? I'm glad you're having a beautiful, wonderful, magical, amazing day. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We are back with Love is War, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, Season 1, Episode 8. Eight. <laughs> but before we get into it, let us introduce ourselves in case you are new to the channel. My name is Rusty. I'm Astronomy. And together we make Rastronomy. And we react to anime. And today is Love of War Day. We're just picking off of episode 7, which probably... I don't know about you, but I thought it was the funniest episode so far. Yeah, I know. I agree with that. Yeah? It was the funniest episode so far. Um, just all the characters. Chika, hilarious. Uh, Kaguya, hilarious. We're, you know, laughing at the word wiener. I mean... <laughs> can't resist it right you can't resist not laughing at the word yourself. wiener ishigami just being morbid and Such being a bit little being a little bit perverted as well <laughs> yeah it was a great episode and uh we were really enjoying the series yeah let's get into episode eight shall we yes but before that don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future love is war episodes and check the description for our patreon below where you can find early access uncut and exclusive content yes and if you want to catch all reactions previous reactions to love is war then check out the playlist in the description and you'll find all the episodes there <laughs> every time i nail my line you always turn right away you go yes <laughs> like yes like good job, good job. <laughs> like, you actually did it <laughs> same sound the same i can't believe it excuse me a cute visitor. It's not how I address people. <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't do that. The sister. Oh, no. It's, yeah, oh, his sister. Yeah. Same scary eyes. <laughs> I can't remember. I remember reading someone doing the voice for her can't remember who it was. It was like someone from another show that we're watching. <laughs> what is this thing she's wearing around her head as well? It's throwing never, me off a little bit. I've never seen anything being worn like that before. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> I, oh, I was like, I have no idea what he just said there. <laughs> Where did you come from? Well, he is the treasurer of Shoshi, so it would make sense for him to help her. I guess so. I mean, she's quite tall, but she's got to be younger, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's like in her own world while she's yeah. over here working. She's gonna end up leaving, like, okay, I'm going. Yeah, these guys are done now, probably. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're uh -oh. in the same club. <laughs> now she's like quite upset because they've got a better bond. <laughs> Three years apart. <laughs> so cute. Now she's angry because she hasn't got the bond like those two have. Yeah. Behind my back. Sis. No. It's out the window. It's all gone. Kaguya lost all hope. She's out. She's gone. Don't worry, she ain't got your man. Oh, this is she just has to come. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Float over. <laughs> Look at her tone change. Change the tune. 
She doesn't look like a little sister. She looks like she's the same age. She's Very just really tall, so yeah, I guess it really runs in their family that they're tall, because he's really tall. Maybe they'll mention it, because it's like oddly, she's oddly tall for her age. I'm oddly short for my age. Yeah, <laughs> see, it can't happen. Oh. <laughs> oh, she gets nervous around Kaguya. K Shurigani loses. <laughs> I guess so. She didn't have a conversation with her. Can't lose. <laughs> okay, so she has been trying to whistle this. <laughs> uh, that's what happened in the previous yeah. part, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what I was like, is she trying to whistle right now? Oh my god. Sir. That's a lot of pressure. Look at all those tests. There was a 23 in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was out of 25. You don't know. It could be true, yeah. <laughs> Not 100 instead, as it normally is. I don't think a guy like him could get a 23 and be in this position. No, I'm See, she got me doing. <laughs> She's like being miserable. <laughs> yes, because you can learn more from music. Nah, he's gonna procrastinate, isn't he? He's kind of lazy. He's lying. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's gonna go home and play video games. That's something I would do. I'm the worst studier. Like, I can't study. What is he gonna buy? Let's see if it's worth it. What is this aura right now? I know. <laughs> Around them. <laughs> They're both trying to sabotage to think each other. Oh, I won't study. <laughs> They're always trying to sabotage each other and it never works, but they always sabotage her, bless. Sure, she'll be alright. She's actually a smart girl. Well, that's what they say, but then she doesn't study because she gets caught up in the middle of their thing, and then she ends up average. Like playing <laughs> some sort of Call of Duty game? Maybe. Don't I didn't even recognize him with his hair pulled back. Look at him. Look at him. He's a bag of nerves. <laughs> no! He may vomit. Oh no! I hate when I get that nervous. So his quest is to beat her. You can do it, lad. They're their biggest like motivators for each other to do better. They, they deserve each other. Yeah. If that's the case, the, the other one makes the other one better. There's some good words to each other. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's so weird seeing like her internal like dialogue like that she's just like a completely different character like if only she let that out on the surface she'd be she'd be a menace hmm. yeah, he's very pleased <laughs> Shadow boxing? <laughs> I guess it's kind of nice, nice of him. He Come wins on, an awful Shirogane. lot, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a baller. <laughs> he's number one. Ooh, one week before the test. Hmm. Yeah, she is listening in. What's that about? Being held back. That would be so embarrassing. I wonder if she, like, helps him. Yeah. 
Maybe he, <laughs> maybe in, she inver inadvertently puts the fear into him to study. So he does. What the fuck? Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't make us look bad. You're gonna revise today. <laughs> Blip lapping device. <laughs> So what is what was he playing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! What is he in Guantanamo? Sardines are horrible. Person used to live with us. I can't remember if I told you, but he used to live in this house, and you just come home from work, it goes straight to the fridge. Just whip open a tin of sardines and then eat it on the couch. Ugh, what are you doing? <laughs> go upstairs, go in your room or something. Why do I have to suffer for your <laughs> bad habits? Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Tuna might be okay because it doesn't really smell, but sardines reek. They just waft around all the house. To be fair to him, he was an absolute idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm guessing she didn't revise much herself because she was focused on trying to get him to pass. And maybe that's why she didn't do as good. Yeah, so if she maybe had studied, maybe there's a good chance that maybe she would have been on top. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's so sad. <laughs> I think he's just confused as to why, she, like, why she's doing this. Mm. That's all you need to know. That's what she's saying. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. Is that a girl that fancies him? Oh, she said gross, so. <laughs> Oh. That's right. Got something to say? Right. That's right. Got something to say? Right. That's right. Got something to say? That's but that's gonna, this is gonna get back to Shinogani, right? It might start a rumor. Oh. Hmm. Oh, so maybe he already knew. He already knew. <laughs> well done, lad. What? Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe he did all that studying and played games at the end and uh? <laughs> She's always in the right places, isn't she? How the hell does he lose? He I would say both a bunch of them nice win. Things. Oh, maybe. Okay. Yeah. No, you got. That's a good point there. He almost slipped there. Yeah, Chica is not too far away when those moments happen as well. She's she always like, "What was that?" Excuse me. Say Excuse that again. Excuse me. What do you mean by that? Like, I. <laughs> I do, we know. <laughs> I do think she's going to find out. I guess before they both confess to each other, she's going to know that he likes her and she likes him. And then she's going to try to like egg it on. That's what I feel like. Because yeah, I, I don't feel like it's going to turn into a triangle between them. I think no. it's going to turn into like her trying to get them to do it. It's kind of like how she was getting him to say Rina. Yeah. But it's going to be that, but with them confessing. Saying things, trying to clue them in on it. What was that thing you said about Kaguya the other day? Mm -hmm. And he's like, what are you talking about? You know, stuff like that. So, right. like, getting them in the position to confess. Maybe just stick them in a, in a room that they can't get out for, like, an hour's 
and hours and hours. They'll come out eventually. <laughs> That's always like a, life it, finds that feels a way. like a slice of life, a typical slice of life anime. And they're like, oh, you get stuck in, in some place with them for hours at a time to yeah. get to know each other. It's the only trope I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the end. Okay. I thought there might be something at the end. Uh, no, there's another interesting episode with the, with the gang. Um, Chica, kind of like carefree in the in the the most true sense, where she just like she's smart, but she doesn't really she didn't really apply herself, did she? Yeah, well, like she had she has... studied, like she probably would have done really well. Yeah, that's what they're saying. But, but uh, yeah, she just those two get average been, results. Yeah, those two have been sabotaging her scores for for a while now, is what they said, and that she ends up always performing average because of their sabotaging, trying to Maybe. sabotage each other. Her being like, oh yeah, I just won't study then. Yeah, you're, mostly you've that. You've got a point. Yeah, yeah. Most, I guess, mostly that. But she shouldn't be. She shouldn't need to. If she's smart enough, she wouldn't. Shouldn't need their advice, really. Tests are one of those things where, I mean, you can revise together and whatnot, but you know, you still have to do the work, even if you are in groups of people. Like, I am literally the worst test taker. So even if I study really, really hard, I forget everything. The moment I have the test in front of me, because I get text anxiety. So like I can study for hours and days and days and days and still not do like what I like I'll, I'll get a passing grade right like I'll pass it but like I'll do really really like I just forget everything. <laughs> yeah I can't do tests either. Speaking of tests like there's one time I was in class with, with Nancy like we had class together we sat next to each other and we were taking an exam which we both knew all of the answers for because our professor used to give us the actual test as a study guide and as long as you did it you'd know all the answers to the test right and i knew i did it and i knew all the answers to the test but i was still sitting there like shaking and shaking and nancy had to go like can you stop you know all the answers just do it <laughs> like, okay i'm sorry <laughs> shaking my pen like just like being a nervous wreck she's like relax <laughs> you know all the answers well if you okay. see this nancy thank you for keeping her calm okay <laughs> <laughs> I knew. there's a lot of more details about the characters mainly kaguya about helping out ishigami with but she kind of had almost selfish intentions of it too because she's like it's a reflection of the student council and we can't have that but like she still then ended up just doing it just to do it for it, him yeah in the same yeah in the end it was that and then the other girls like talking and you know looking like they're going to start creating rumors which Ishigami alluded to and she turned around and stood up I guess for herself and for him as well so like, you got a problem with my judgment here yeah and obviously trying to play the trump card in terms of like her stature and her you know intelligence like who you, who do you think you're talking to okay. even though like she had ulterior motives because well, which shown at the end because like you only just passed yeah, I she's put like, all this, this effort into you and you only just passed? She's like, this is a reflection of me. <laughs> Shinigami wasn't really much in this episode, was he? His, his just sister was more, isn't it? Yeah, and his sister. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah. And that, that opening scene as well, yeah, with his sister. She's she's really tall for someone who seems to be three years younger. And these guys, he's yeah. like 16, 17. It just looks like height runs in their family. Because yeah. he's like ridiculously tall. Yeah. And it was just funny how she, she just came out of nowhere and she's friends with Chica. <laughs> Always. Everyone's right. friends with Chica, it feels like. Yeah, Kaguya's like, oh yeah, this is my chance to become close to her, become sisters, you know, get myself in the family. Chica's like, nope, already there. She can be in it too, though. Yeah, well, not in her head, isn't it? Yeah, no. It was only until she's like, you want to come too? Like, yes. Yeah, that, that was actually really cute, that face that she made when she yeah. said yes, yes. Stop it, Kaguya, giving me all this cuteness. She like just comes out of nowhere with it too. She's always like very, but then when it's with Chica, she's always like, yes, please. Cute with her and her internal like dialogue is cute too. Like yeah. she has, of course, like it's very expressive, but yeah. Well, anyway, that was episode eight of Kaguya-sama, Love is War. Let us know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. If you did enjoy this reaction, be sure to hit the like button, smash it in the good old face down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future Love is War episodes. If you guys want to come hang out with us anytime, then the Discord link is in the description as well. Come say hello, keep us company. If Discord is not your thing, then come hang out with us. Keep up to date with us on our Twitter accounts. They're in the description below as well. If you want to catch the full reaction to this episode, then check out our tier three on our Patreon and you'll find it there. Yeah. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your company. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Goodbye.